So the big question is this, how do most agents who struggle to get the information that most successful agents hoard to themselves grow and prosper without this information? That's the big question and this video cast is the answer. Welcome to Real Estate Rockstars. I'm your host, Pat Hyben. And now, for the review of the day. Got a five-star review from Butch Sells SV from San Jose, California. Five stars. Listen and learn and get motivated to take action at the same time. Butch says, Pat, thank you for your show. Not only do you and your amazing guests provide so many tips and techniques that can be put into action right away, but your show continues to serve as a motivational for me whenever I feel lost and beaten and a bit hopeless. I am a new agent and I'm trying still to get used to the feast and famine cycle of being a realtor. Sad face. I'm getting so much from your show that now I'm running out of excuses not to be successful in real estate. I really love the part when you ask your guests what they'll do with the $2,000 in a laptop on an island. I appreciate you calling your guests BS at times. Yeah! Part of my two-year goal is to be on your show someday and meet you and break bread with you. Keep it up, Pat. Thanks again, Butch. Butch, thanks for the five-star review, my brother. Keep the comments coming, guys. I love them. And remember, I eat feedback for breakfast, so give me a one-star review if you want or a five-star review if you want. I don't care. And the more reviews we get, the better guests we get. So please, subscribe first and then leave us a review or wherever you're listening. All right, Rockstar Nation, I got a great guest uh, today. Mr. Gary a Boomer Shine is on from REI Vault, and this guy is changing things, changing a lot of things on how real estate sales, real estate commissions, real estate listings are being done today, and we're going to get deep, deep, deep into the two things, mainly the art and science behind the two things that you absolutely need to be doing today if you want to out-compete your competition. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. Mr. Gary Boomershine, welcome to Real Estate Rockstars. Oh, Pat, it is a pleasure. I'm so happy to uh, have the opportunity to speak to your loyal group. And actually, I just came back from Omaha, the uh, Warren Buffett, uh, Berkshire Hathaway uh, shareholder meeting. And I was hanging out with a bunch of your M1 guys and go abundance. And actually, Rock Thompson, uh, Rock Thomas was there and Jeff Cohn. So it was, it was awesome. I told him yeah. I was going to be on be on your show here shortly. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Great guys. And Jeff, as you know, has done a, a course with us on Rebus University, which is the certified team agent course. Uh, you guys should check that out. One of our most popular courses. But but the, let's talk. We're not going to talk about teams today. We're going to talk about leads. We're going to talk about getting a business. Um, so, um, uh, Gary, um, you first of all, you I want to get your story. You're a licensed real estate agent for 18 years. Then you became a full-time investor, correct? Yeah, correct. I uh, just turned 50. So in night, we, I grew up, we had a family real estate brokerage. I'm in California, about 30 minutes from San Francisco. And all of us kids, my story is uh, all of us kids as the youngest of four, we were kind of all forced into the real estate business. It was one of those, not, not by choice. It was like, no, you will become an agent. So two, two weeks after turning 18 in 1987, I was a licensed agent and paid for college by door knocking, cold calling, you know, getting listings. And then we had a bunch of rental properties. So I was painting and putting on new doors and, and uh, breakdowns of properties and stuff. So, uh, but anyway, I, <clears throat> my background is um, I really had no interest, Pat, in doing real estate. I actually got a computer engineering degree. I told my dad I didn't want any part of the business. <laughs> and uh, I got recruited to the largest technology and management consulting firm in the world. It's, it's called Accenture. It was originally Arthur Anderson, Anderson mm -hmm. Consulting. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, was, it was awesome. I traveled everywhere. I worked 90-hour weeks. I 
never got to see sunlight because I was, you know, a slave in an office and um, got good experience. I did that for five years. And then I said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to stop swapping hours for money and I'm going to get into sales. And so I decided to do technology sales, enterprise sales, 500 to $5 million software. And then I realized it's also 90 hour weeks, but a lot more stress. And uh, my first year in doing that was 1997. And I did that for six years. And uh, I, I had 180,000 miles on United my first year. I never even, even when I'd come home, the dog would bark at me because nobody knew who I was. And it was in 2004, after four technology startups, my wife and I said, you know what? Let's go back to what we know and get into real estate. And so uh, 2004, I quit my job. We had a, two babies, two kids, a two-month-old, and I did real estate investing full-time. And um, it's been awesome. So I, I am a full-time real estate investor. I work four markets. I do a lot of lending and started REI Vault. The actual company is realestateinvestor.com. That's my brand, but most, most people know us by REI well, Vault. that's a good I, name. You took down that domain. That's a good domain to take down. Yeah, great story on that too. But REI Vault, it's, we're the largest marketer in the real estate niche, uh, in both niches, real estate agents and investors from a standpoint of we've sent out over 34 million pieces of direct mail. Um, we've done over a million outbound phone seller calls and, uh, and actually do that for about 250 top producing agents and investors today. And really, Pat, you know, the, we were very focused on investors just because that's kind of my passion. And, um, and some of the agents, we were invited to New York to speak at Rate, uh, real estate and TV experts. Yeah, Matt Wagner, like the dude. Good dude. Oh, you know what? Some smart, smart people. But we were a little booth, and uh, we had one of the top producing agents, uh, agent teams in Hawaii. They're called Team Lolly. And uh, they were yep, on stage. been on the show a few times. Yeah, and so Adrian, and they basically said, hey, we've got a little secret weapon. There's a little booth that you guys probably haven't seen here called REI Vault, and that is our secret weapon. Um, they are crushing it on leads. So we've been generating. He basically said, on, he goes, these guys are primarily doing marketing for investors, but only 10% of the leads are for investors. 90% are listings. And he said, so we're actually coming in and making direct offers to sellers and uh, to buy the house or to list the property. So it's, it's really a lot, of, a lot of our members see us competing directly with companies like OfferPad or Open Door. Wow, that, that, yeah. that, that, that's fascinating. We're going to dig into it. Um, so uh, first of all, I don't believe that I, I believe you're still working 90 hours a week because you just mentioned, you know, 10 minutes worth of stuff that you do <laughs> on a daily basis. Uh, investor in four states and this, that and the other thing. Anyways. Um, all right. So let's get to the nitty gritty because uh, we want to offer some value here to our listeners. And and, 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 and you had mentioned before, you, that, you know, the speech that you did in Omaha to a lot of real estate agents, to Berkshire Hathaway, the speech that you gave to the Berkshire Hathaway agents was, you know, there are two specific things that differentiate yourself in today's market that agents need to be aware of. And that's what I want to talk about. First of all, what is thing number one? So this market right now is... Uh, is an off market. It's finding deals off market. And that's, I, you know, there's not an MLS is what you're not, talking about. That is right. That is right. So and most when you say off market, do you say like finding deals off market and keeping them off market or just finding deals off market to put in the MLS? Because finding deals off market to put in the MLS is what agents have been doing for years. Yeah, absolutely. It's going after sellers that are currently not on the MLS. It's going direct to the seller. And so how do you do that? Well, the two things that are working incredibly well right now that scale, that have an ROI that's measurable is direct mail done right. And I will walk, I will, I'll walk through the secret sauce that we have found because getting direct mail. Yeah, let's, work. let's get right to that because a lot of people are like direct mail is dead. You know, people aren't getting mail. I mean, I know a lot of people not even checking their mailboxes i.e. I have some relatives, but by the way, I still haven't gotten anything for the birthday cards that I sent you because you haven't checked your damn mail. So talk to me, is direct mail dead or is it not? It is not. It's more competitive. <laughs> it is not more, more, it's more competitive today uh, than it was a couple of years ago. No, nobody was doing direct mail. And see, the trick is, is doing something that nobody else can really do. So there's a, we call it the six M's. Uh, of marketing for direct mail. There's market, message, media, multiple months, and money. 
I'll All right, wait a, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Slow it down. Slow, slow, <laughs> slow it down. So we got six M's that is crucial when you guys are, are, are sending direct mail. And so, you know, I don't want you to be like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to spend money on direct mail or nobody's direct mail. I want you to listen to what Gary says because he has agents across the country that are just absolutely crushing it with this, obviously. So first M is what? Yeah, the first M is market. It is Mark, the market, market, which is and really the list. It's the names and addresses. It's the, the names targeted and address. list. A targeted and list. And guys, you, you should be doing houses that are like, you know, five to 10 years, right? I read something recently that was like the, you know, the average person used to move every eight years. Now it's merging down to like 7.2 or something. So you got to keep that in mind when you're doing your list. Uh, you also may want to do you know, newer type neighborhoods, the people that are in like 30 year old neighborhoods, um, you know, tend to not move as much, tend to be more stable than someone who's in a brand new neighborhood, a neighborhood that's say four years old, you know, those type of people tend to, to move more often. Okay. So that's market. What's the second M? Yeah. And let me just add, add to it. What we have found yeah, consistently, what we have found consistent, consistently, the list is super important. Um, there's 127 million properties, single family properties available to all of us on public record. List source, RealQuest, Listability, those are typically some of the choices. And then there's list brokers. But we're finding that a burned out landlord inherited property, uh, mostly free and clear. Uh, one, one out of seven properties in America are free and clear, by the way. We found that that combination has been working really, really well. Okay, so let me let me slow this down. So, so a landlord who has been a landlord for a number of years, not a brand new landlord, um, a house that's paid off, and what was the third one? And inherited. So those are typically like a property that's been inherited. It's usually a deed change. So, so those are those are good ones. And then you get you you hire one of these companies or or you do it yourself, and 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 you target that. Correct. So for most people in a market, they may have, let's say they have a population of 250,000 houses. We're finding about 15% to 18% of the overall properties in that market are going to fall into this category. So having a list wow. of, let's, let's say 30,000 or 40,000 names and addresses is a good target uh, for most. That's pretty much what we're finding. Now we do, we'll pull these lists on behalf of our members. Uh, we have a special method but the data is available to all of us. And so if, if your listeners, if they're going to do it on their own, we found that that's worked really well. The second list, we call it shipwrecked. By the way, that's what we call our invisible list. Um, anybody can do it. But what, I'll, I'll, I'll throw a couple of other things. Um, a lot of people are, are looking for where the last sale date was, say, 10 years ago. We're finding some of the best properties don't even have a sale date. And so they're missing some of the best targeted properties available by refining their search. So what you mean, we do- You mean, they, they, you mean they, they've owned it forever? It's Correct. They've flipped it. They've never flipped it. And that there's, there is no last sale date on public record, which is awesome because everybody's searching for the wrong stuff. Yeah, so like, interesting. Okay, that's good. That's a good piece yeah. of advice, yeah. Yeah, the second list, it's a smaller list. Um, we call it shipwrecked. So it's code violations. That's been phenomenal. Our, it's co made mm -hmm. up of code violations, abatements, uh, recently divorced, recently deceased. We actually then cross-reference that with equity because we're usually looking for properties that, you know, that, that are not going to be short sell listings or uh, purchases. And so what we're finding is in a market, let's say again, 250,000 houses, that list may be about seven to 10,000 properties out of 250. It's about 5%. So that's, those are two incredible lists. I like, yeah, I like that. I like that shipwrecked. Um, you know, someone, if, you, if they got violations, then it may have changed hands or, or, or like, like, or someone's in charge of it that doesn't want to deal with is being annoyed by it. And it would be a good, good one. Hey, let me, let me take this problem child off your hands. Okay. What's the second M Gary? Okay. The second M is the message. This is really important. The message are the words the copy of what you put in front of your, your, your market. So give me a good copy. What's, let's say I'm listening in Tupelo, Mississippi. I want to send out a postcard today. I'm going to print it out right now. What is, what is the best copy for me to do? The best copy are the words and ugly on yellow paper. 
uh, canary yellow postcards. I, what we love about we, what we love about uh, agents that we're competing with is they lo- love to brand and color and glossy. None of that works. I, I'll guarantee we'll outproduce our stuff. This is all Dan Kennedy marketing. I can actually show. I'll actually pull up a postcard if, um, if yeah. people are following. So it's, a, so it's ug- uh, ugly font or the word ugly? Like you, you use the word ugly in, in your message. Give me just a second here. Let me pull this up. Okay. What's up, a brokers, a team leaders, office managers, and rainmakers of teams. I got a question for you today. What are the two most frustrating things about running a real estate team? The two things that cause you more headaches than anything else. Think about it. The brokers I've talked to have all given me the same answer. Recruiting and retention. If you're in the same boat, if nothing you've tried seems to work, I've got some good news. Your problem finding, recruiting, and retaining high quality agents are about to be over. I'm launching my new Retoot course, a course that provides an in-depth, first ever look at the recruiting and retention secrets of the industry's top recruiters. To kick off Retoot's launch, I'm offering the course along with two other high value items at a super low price to podcast listeners. Since I'm throwing in two free items with my Retoot Secrets course, I'm going to simply call it my one, two, three discount package. Okay. So let me talk to you about the one, two, three discount package. In addition to Retoot, you're going to get a subscription for each of your teammates or anybody in your office to my big profit weekly jackpot emails, which are basically agents from around the world giving advice on how to increase your profit on a daily basis in this business. If your agents put these effective, easy to implement tips to use, their sales and most importantly, their profits will improve. Plus, I'll provide you with a year's worth of monthly sales meetings, content to have at your sales meeting so you don't have to struggle figuring out what to say to your agents or your team. I'm calling it my lunch and learn sales training series. That's an entire year's worth of sales meetings that you won't have to plan and that your agents are guaranteed to get massive value from. So to recap, purchasing the one, two, three discount package gets you one, my brand new retoot course. Two, my big profit agents weekly jackpot emails for everybody in your office. And three, a year's worth of lunch and learn training sessions. If you want this limited time package, act fast and go to hybendigital.com backslash one, two, three. Real easy, hybendigital.com backslash one, two, three. share this. Here is an example. I'm actually, I, this is what I put in front of uh, uh, the Berkshire Hathaway group in Omaha. All right, we'll pull this up here. So, so the so traditional that, pop. Yeah, what, what, he's, what he's using is um, like old school um, a typewriter font. Like if you, if you, uh, if, if your grandmother were to type on her typewriter, that's the type of font. Do you know what that's called? Is it just called old typewriter font? <laughs> it's actually called P P S twenty two. There's okay. actually a, a particular font that we use. This is Dan Kennedy. It has worked forever. And what's interesting, the, the postcard on the left. I'll just ask you if you're looking at this. We have one that's pink on the right. Uh, looks like it was handwritten. And we we this is super popular in the real estate investor niche right now. Millions of these things are going out. Uh, it was invented by a guy by the name of Joe, Ta- uh, Joe Taylor. He's an eight-figure real estate guy. Uh, the one on the left was invented by Brad Chandler from Ex- Express Home Buyer. And so let me ask you, Pat, which one do you think would produce better between these two? Well, I know the philosophy, um, you, know, you know, personally, uh, you know, the philosophy of, 
you know, Dan Kennedy and all that, and Brad Chandler has been on the show as well, is um, the more you tell, the more you sell. So guys, and if you can't see this, you go to YouTube, it's on there. Um, but um, but uh, basically, it, it, it's, it's just a whole bunch of words uh, filled up on the postcard. And the one on the right is, is uh, looks like a, a, a female's uh, handwriting. Um, with very little words, I would I would uh, answer your question, Gary. I, I would I'm going to go with the one on the left because the more you tell, the more you sell. Um, even though I, my personality is more attentive to the handwritten one, but um, but that's what I would go with. Yeah, yeah, and you know you wouldn't know unless you're actually split testing these. And so we've sent out 34 million pieces, and we're able to uniquely track the response rates, which is cool by every market. So we can predict how well something is going to work, and then do it. Uh, for our members, but the the one on the left does outproduce nationally four to one over the one on the right. So this mm -hmm. one on the left yeah. uh, actually has a national average of just a shy below four percent. Now Dan Kennedy and most experts would say one percent direct mail, one percent response rate is fantastic. The one on the left uh, is is averaging, and in some markets, you know, I, I know for uh, for Clint, uh, we, we he's getting like almost six percent response rate. That's great. Okay, guys, so I'm going to read this to you just so you know it. <clears throat> um, it says, Urgent, Pat Hyben, I want to buy your house at 3910 Clover Hill Drive and close before July 2nd. Are you interested? My name is Ryan Joseph. I, I recently sold a house in your area, and I'm looking to purchase another one with the proceeds. I want to send you this note in case you might want to consider selling your property uh, or perhaps a property that you have in the Memphis, Tennessee area. If you, if I buy your house, there will be no fees or commissions. In fact, I'm willing to pay all the closing. Now, so this would be a bait and switch, right? Because the because for an agent, um, they they would take this and it'd be like, well, you know, here's your here's your here's your lowball offer that I would give you, and then you'd probably say, no, that's too low, and they say, well, let me go ahead and list your house. And then they would earn a commission on that. But, uh, but nonetheless, let's not go that too deep into that. Um, um, let me just finish reading it. That would mean thousands of dollars of savings to you. It goes on and then it says, um, please hurry because after I find a replacement property, I won't be in a position to buy until I can sell another property. It will only take a few minutes to see that I might need, might be a buyer for your property. Okay, so guys, this is uh, this is the the reason that it is working so well. And this is going to be, you know, this contradicts like everything that you've learned in 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 real estate class about, you know, sending out a postcard that says just sold or just listed. The reason that these work so much better than a just listed, just sold is the same reason why companies like Open Door, OfferPad. Keller Williams, Redfin, Zillow, all of them are going to eye buyers because it is essentially a large scale bait and switch where it basically allows the agent to say, you know, a, a fish has nibbled on the hook because they got this and the offer is going to be too low. So let me just go ahead and flip them and make a commission. And it's, it's been going on for, for forever. Um, and, and at the end of the day, some of you might feel like, you know, I don't want to do that. I'd rather just put just sold or just listed and get to the point. Fine. If you do that, fine. But know that uh, according to Gary, these things, you know, are going to get you four times as many results. Um, <clears throat> and, and Keller Williams knows that and Redfin knows that and Zillow knows that. And that's why they've created the, you know, the iBuyer programs that they, that they all have, right? And, and the same thing why real estate agents advertise on billboards, I'll buy your home for cash, you know, if I can't sell it because, you know, they don't want to buy the home for cash. Everybody knows that, <clears throat> but it's a great way to get seller calls. So, okay, so let's move on. The, the, this is good stuff. I, I appreciate this, Gary. Um, so now, so we got the marketing, we got the message. What's the third M? Multiple. So it's repetitive marketing. So typically we're either mailing every 30 days or every 60 days. 60, what we found is 60 days for a, a high equity long-term owner, uh, really mailing every 60 days is appropriate. Otherwise you get what's called list fatigue. So you mail list. a high equity list fatigue. So you, okay. Uh, so 60 days isn't bad. I mean, six times a year you're saying. Correct. And so uh, multiple and then uh, market message medium multiple 
Uh, no, we didn't talk about medium. What's medium mean? Yeah, medium is, are you going to send out a postcard? You're going to send out a letter? You're going to do a radio ad? Is it a text message? And you're so sending, you're sending a, 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 a pretty small, like the size of an index card, um, ugly postcard. Correct. And dollar to dollar, we've found for sellers on, on a large scale, po postcards, postcards will outproduce dollar for dollar a better ROI than a letter. Uh, unless you've got an offer letter or an offer package that also produces, but postcards to get the seller to call and then follow up letters, handwritten looking follow up letters after you've, after you've connected with the seller, we'll automatically put them if they have not, if we haven't, if they haven't listed the property with us or sold it, we'll put them, take them off postcards and put them on follow up letters. Okay. And even, and, yeah. 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 That makes a lot of sense. I like that because it's more, it becomes more personal. You know, once you, once you feel like you're getting to know them, right? A little bit. You could probably start doing the more letters. Okay. All right, Gary. So this is really cool. So what is the fifth M? The fifth M. Uh, so market, message, medium, multiple, then money. Money is how much money do I have to spend on this type of marketing in order to generate enough leads to convert into enough appointments into a deal, right? Either a listing or a purchase of a property. And that's going to depend. So we're, we're able we're able, like most markets on this, on, on this marketing, I can go in, like I know for Clint, it's probably about $2,500 is what he's spending uh, for a deal. Most, most of what Jeff Cohn, what they're doing in Omaha, they're looking for per properties to purchase and then, and then listings as well. But most of what they're doing right now is purchasing properties. So they're spending an average of about $2,500 a deal, which is giving them about a six to seven X ROI. So it's the, it's the money. How much do we have to spend on the marketing in order to generate leads to deals? Okay. All okay. right. Makes, yeah, I love it. All right. And then the final M? And um, uh, market message, media, multiple months and money. And then how, over how many okay. months? Yeah. So over multiple is- And, then, and yeah. you basically, is your philosophy keep going until they list their house or is your philosophy uh, give up? After uh, no, it's consistent. So what we do is we typically will put them on fi a five mailer. It's five or eight, depending upon the type of marketing. We found that five touch points, and then we'll go out and refresh the list. So we're going to go clean up the list and refresh it. So it's good for about typically a year. Now, the ones that are distressed, so what we call the shipwrecked, um, we're mailing more often. So we're actually going out and mailing every 30 days. We've tested 14 days. Again, we, we call that list fatigue. It gets, you know, you start getting too many complaints or people asking to be taken off the mail. So we're finding 30 days and we'll do that five times. So five months, and then we'll continue to refresh the list and find new, you know, targeted properties. And, uh, and we found that that's the, the secret. Now, once the leads come in, so that's the marketing piece. So five to eight, if you don't get in five to eight, guys quit. Five to eight, refresh the list. Yeah. Do it again and continue yeah. to tighten it up. And by the way, some of the some of the best leads are people that have called in and they say they're not interested in selling. And so we'll put those on a follow up drip, but we'll start typically in four to five months. So we'll wait mm -hmm. four to five months. By the the house, the house I'm living in today is an example. The seller called to be removed from the mail. <laughs> and, uh, it was a great conversation. We put her on a follow up uh, yellow letter campaign. Um, I can show you the example. And then three months later, she called and said, hey, are you still interested in buying? And I ended up buying that house that we've owned for since 2010. That's hilarious. That's, that's a good one. Okay. So now let's go to the second, the second thing that you did at, uh, to the Berkshire Hathaway agents in Omaha, Nebraska. The second key component that if you are missing as an agent today, you're not going to be able to compete. Um, it, it is what? It is the, the, the secret for getting direct mail to work is it's we, I, I, I showed it like epoxy glue and um, epoxy glue. You've got two parts of epoxy, right? You got two things that when they're combined into one, they won't work by themselves, but when you combine it into one, it has what's called a bonding agent, which mm -hmm. is the glue. And so there's marketing and then there's sales or traffic and conversion. So the direct mail generates the leads but how do you convert? And what we found is 80% of the profits, this is a national average, by the way, that's not just real estate for listings or purchasing houses. It's frankly everything related to marketing and sales. 80% of the profits happen between the fifth and the 12th interaction with the seller. 
80% and less than 10% of any realtors or investors follow up more than twice. So we call it the no seller left behind. You generate the leads, but it's the follow up and the phone team combination is the bonding agent like epoxy. So let me give you the example. You generate yeah, the leads. Please do. Yeah. So you generate the leads. We have found on average, now this is specifically for buying properties. And I think the number would actually be even better for somebody that's buying and also listing. They have both capabilities. But 45 leads, right? So you generate 45 leads. Should about one third of those within 45 to 60 days should produce um, about one third 45 leads come in, so about one-third will, will turn into appointments, one-third of those, so that's 15. About half of those are worthy of getting an offer, so that brings it down to about seven, and one out of seven are turning into deals. So we know that 45 leads on average should produce a deal. If it's done right, right, on the follow-up, it's probably going to turn in over the long haul to more like 20 leads producing a deal or a listing. Okay. So that's why it's so important. It's an ROI. It's really knowing your numbers because a lot of people, they'll do direct mail. They'll be three feet from gold. They'll either not do a high enough volume or they'll have the marketing, but there's nobody doing the follow-up. So it, the leads come in, you need a system and then text message, putting people on a text message, ringless voicemail, and what we call an integrated phone team, somebody that's actually reaching out to the seller ongoing, having a good conversation because it's a dialing for dollars. And that's, yeah. that so let, let, let's get some specifics here, right? Specifics, right? So, um, uh, first month, right? So we're going to go, we're going to go with your recommendation of, uh, this program is every 60 days, they're getting a mailing for, let's say seven months. You said between five and eight. So let's say seven months. So, so seven, uh, seven periods, which is seven 60 day periods, right? So let's say um, the first period, right? The first 60 days, uh, how many phone calls? So this is uh, the response rate on our stuff is per drop. So it's not, so it's an average. So what's, we're what's a drop? What's yeah, a drop? the first, the first mailing and then 60 days later, we're going to do a second mailing to the same homeowner. Zero and, phone calls. I uh, know. So we're going to get, we're averaging a, you know, a 4% response rate on that postcard. So that's per mail drop for each no, no, time. No, 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 no. I'm asking you, right? We're talking about um, telemarketer or yourself as an agent, mm -hmm. picking up the telephone and calling the person you just mailed this to. Right. How many times in the first 60 days? Uh, well, uh, every single day for four days in a row, then we'll actually <laughs> okay, stop and okay, so, so we'll stop. Then we'll stop. We're finding on the follow up on the phone, you know, we'll have to, if we, if we call you stop and a, quit or, or no, you know. we never, we never quit. If the seller, we're four days we're, in a row, you're calling them every day and then what? Right. And then working to get them, if they answer the phone, we'll have a, a, a dialogue with them to see, if, you know, hey, we received, <clears throat> we received a, a call from you. Uh, were you calling about a property that you wanted to sell or list or uh, a note you received in the mail? And then, and, and, and then if they say, yes, uh, I am, then we'll start the dialogue with an icebreaker and, and, and go through uh, a pretty, you know, a six to seven minute discussion to qualify and then schedule a follow-up appointment to make to, to you know to talk to them about either selling their house or purchasing the property what do you think about the word toolbox what is a toolbox a toolbox is a box full of tools that you use to build something great at real estate rockstars we've created our own free toolbox so everybody that comes on the show as a guest brings a tool with them and we plow them all into this toolbox and we give it away for our viewing audience to basically use as they wish everything we put in there is an actionable item that can be downloaded can be printed can be used immediately and we got things like scripts and dialogues checklists for teams checklists to keep agents accountable referral forms that are filled out at settlement to get referrals by your buyers and sellers everything you can think of that you could use on a regular basis about real estate is included in this toolbox and it's helping agents worldwide sell more houses and make their jobs a lot easier and processes much more efficient and the thing is 
it's absolutely free. All you got to do is go to hybendigital.com backslash toolbox or text the word toolbox to 444-999. That's toolbox 444-999. Do it now. Hey, real estate agents and rock stars. If you're getting value out of the content in this episode, make sure you like the video and subscribe to this channel. Also, click the little bell icon to be notified about upcoming episodes. And I would also love it if you left a comment and shared the most impactful tips and tactics you've learned from the knowledge shared in this episode, or even maybe make a suggestion requesting a topic of what you'd like to learn in future episodes. I welcome any feedback below. Now, back to the episode. And then that goes that goes on for eight for eight months. Correct. Because eight. so so how many days do you wait after the first four days? Let's say you're banging on the phone four. You leave me four messages, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, how how long do you wait before you start leaving me more messages? Well, let me let let's just back up first and foremost because I, I there's there's a difference between you know following up with somebody who's called in, right? A seller will call in, but there's, there's also cold calling. That's totally separate. So you've got- So, so are, you, are you saying do cold calling or are you saying only do warm calling? You do both. Do so both? Okay. do both. So if you're doing direct mail, right? You're doing direct mail to drive sellers to come to us, right? You want to have a live person that's answering the call live. That's going to have the highest results. And then the follow-up on that, so continuously following up for the long haul, right? Somebody called in, maybe they're not interested. Somebody should be calling starting in four months. We're converting a lot of people that say they weren't, weren't interested. Um, a lot of the leads that will come in, Pat, are hang-ups. They'll actually call and they hang up. Those are some of the best leads, by the way. And we try to get those people on the phone within 15 minutes. So somebody will call in. And then we're calling back and we're converting a ton of those hangups. Most investors, most agents never follow up with any of them. They're only taking the, the initial call, right? And, and which is about 3% of the overall, you know, mm. success of marketing. So there is a rule like 3% of all the leads will typically, typically turn into listings or deals within a week to 14 days. 97% are actually going to be the ones that, that, that happen you know, by continuous follow-up. So Mm -hmm. the majority of making direct mail or frankly, any of this marketing direct to the seller work is around the follow-up system and an integrated phone team that's actually reaching out to sellers. Okay. All right. So talk to me. Now let's talk about um, um, the text messaging, right? So like, like what do you recommend for follow-up on um, let's just go with the warm calls, like somebody who has responded one way or the other, even if they've, you know, responded and said not till next year, um, like how many text messages are, is, is too much where you're overwhelming them and how many is the, the sweet spot? Yeah. So, um, so each, we, we look at the type or the stage of the lead. So it's not one size fits all. If they're not interested, it's going to be different than if they came in as a hang up versus we went and met with the seller we made them an offer. They weren't interested at the time. We're going to put them on a totally different path. All right. Uh, different, w- different messages, different, you know, timeline. So let me give you the example of a hang up first and foremost, because these are goldmine leads that most people are missing. So we're, we're putting them on a three year, what we call a drip follow up. So once they come in, if it's a hang up, we instantaneously text message them. What we found is the, the local text message, the phone number locally is super important. So if, if they're in a 925 area code, like I'm in California, we want to follow up in text with a 925 uh, text message. It. And then it's the right words of, hey, we just missed a call from you. Were you thinking about listing or, or, or selling your property or calling about, uh, you know, call me, um, you know, Gary Boomershine or whatever it is and the phone number that we want them to call. And so we'll do that. And then instantaneously, we'll want somebody within 15 minutes to also call them. So we'll text message them. We're finding that 60% of all 
the inbound calls ac across the country are from cell phones. So we're going to have a 60% success rate on a hang up of them getting our message. And then within 15 minutes, and I say 15 minutes, it could be a week later, but we're finding the highest conversion within 15 minutes of being on the phone with the seller and finding out and we're converting a lot of those. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah can speed to lead. Yeah. Yeah. I can give you the numbers too. We found like a hundred dials by this, by our team is producing, we're getting about 12 people on the phone dialing and we're turning one and a half appointments, uh, one and a half appointments. So a hundred dials. So it's a lot of phone work, which is why you, we don't want to do this ourselves. We want to have an inexpensive, very well scripted professional person on the phone doing it for us. Um, you know, that you can get pretty inexpensive, right? But, but we're finding um, on average, so 100 dials produces about one and a half appointments. What is an appointment? An appointment is a seller that said, yes, I am interested or considering to sell. I am interested in getting an offer. I am interested in meeting. They provide literally a, a quite a bit of information about is the property, you know, currently occupied? Is it rented? You know, what's the rent? So it's a, it's a fairly full you know, process. And I'll give all of your listeners the exact script in the show notes today. I'll give them the exact script. Yeah, that, 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 that's awesome. Like, I mean, I, I was going to get into that, but let's talk about it. Like what, uh, you know, as you know, everybody that comes on this show, Gary gives a free gift, right? Uh, something that agents can use. And and, it sound, and we're talking about so much stuff here that, uh, that obviously the more free gift stuff we have, uh, the better from you. So what, what are you bringing today? And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to put this on uh, hybendigital.com backslash uh, Gary Boomershine. It's going to be uh, Gary, G-A-R-Y, Boomershine, just like it sounds. Hybendigital.com backslash Gary Boomershine. It's going to all be there. I'm going to put Gary's contact information there, too. I'm going to put a, a special link that if you fill out the form on it, uh, requesting more information and you put real estate rock stars in the memo as the way you heard about it. Um, uh, there are an additional five more free gifts in, in addition to what uh, he's given today. So anyways, what are you giving today that we're going to put on Hyben Digital there, Gary? Yeah, I have a time tested, <laughs> robust script. It's primarily for buying houses uh, versus listing properties. Again, the majority of our members are buying houses and also they do have a, a realtor team. So the, the realtors also are buying houses. I will, I will mix, mix, make sure of that. So the script is very focused on, you know, capturing information about buying the property. Um, that script that we're using, and by the way, the way I did it is I brought some of our top people around the country, about 15 of us, and we spent a couple of months going through and really refining the right script uh, with the seller, with you know, a, a good message and our conversion rates, I think are second to none. So that, that script is available. It's a web form. Uh, you can see exactly how we do it. It's yours as a gift. Uh, I've got a lead calculator that really in your market, you can actually um, use it to, to build exactly what the marketing budget should be in your market. So it's based on revenue and your profits per deal. And it walks you through, you know, the numbers where you can say, okay, I want to do a hundred, you know, a million dollars this year in volume off a of direct mail, and it'll actually produce what your marketing budget should be and what we call a scorecard uh, with all of your return on investment numbers. Cool. So that's that's that's, that's, and, that's awesome. Yeah, that's some I mean, good stuff. I'm gonna get it myself. Yeah, we've <laughs> had a lot of people. You know, a lot of people. It really, it, again, it's marketing and sales. It's the the science and and knowing the numbers is so important. And so we had this built for um, a bunch of us, and then I said, hey, let's. Let's share it. I think it's really helpful for people, right? You need to know your numbers. I think I heard that from Tony Robbins just over the weekend. If you don't know your numbers, you don't have a real business. And so it's, it's how, many, how much money do I have to spend to produce how many leads? They're going to turn into how many appointments, into offers, into conversion. And then what does that scorecard look like on a monthly basis and a weekly basis that you can then hold your team accountable to? So Yeah. No, th this is good stuff. I mean, and what I like about it is it's listings, right? And I'm always preaching, hey, you know, you need to get in on the listing game. And, and this is a way to do it. And this is how everybody is doing it. And, and like Gary said in the beginning, guys, this is the probably the number one thing that you're going to need to do to compete in today's market, right, is to be aggressive on getting listings. And, um, and, and, and this is a great way to do it. So, Gary, listen, this has been a blast, buddy. I appreciate you coming on the show today and, and sharing so much. 
Um, and again, I'm going to put everything on hybendigital.com backslash Gary Boomershine, and you can get Gary's free gifts along with all the other agents' free gifts that have, that have come on the show simply by uh, going to hybendigital.com backslash toolbox and picking up the agent success toolbox. Or if you would like, the toolbox can also be gotten uh, by texting us. Just text the word toolbox to 444 nine 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 gary best of luck to you brother look forward to uh meeting you face to face in the near future and i really appreciate you uh taking time out of your busy day today great pat i appreciate it and appreciate all your listeners thank you so much for tuning in the real estate rock stars if this free content is giving you a ton of value i want to ask a small favor in return. I need you to pull out your pointing finger and hit the subscribe button. Yes, hit subscribe, please. The more subscribers that we get on Real Estate Rockstars, the better guests are attracted to the shows. We'll get more guests from the top companies, from the top teams, and even more celebrity guests like Robert Kiyosaki and Barbara Corcoran. Also, if you're not a member of our free Facebook group, go to Real Estate Rockstars Radio right on Facebook and join the conversation. I'm on there myself on FaceTime Lives, and we have a lot of communications and questions about the show, and I'd love to see you there. And it's free. People ask me all the time, where am I on social media? I'm real easy to find. Just type in my name. My IG is I am Pat Hyben. It is blowing up on Instagram, adding tons of subscribers. And I'm on there probably twice a day. So definitely follow me on Instagram as well as everywhere else. Thanks again for listening and keep rocking.